we were both sitting in the doctor's office and he's looking at the ultrasound and, and paused and said, and was like, oh, and we both looked at each other and thought something was wrong. And he said, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think there's three. <laughs> so we walk out of the room and look at each other. In and, shock. In shock and just stood there for a few minutes of, now what? We screen uh, most of these the moms who have uh, had this uh, type of pregnancy uh, from very early on. We also screen a lot of uh, other multiple pregnancies, so twins and triples, because they're at some increased risk of having a heart defect in one of the babies. Uh, Liam's mom uh, came to us uh, at about uh, uh, 13 weeks or so, so when, when uh, the three boys uh, were probably about two inches from head to bum, and their hearts were uh, about the size of a pea, a green pea. But in Liam, he had a heart problem called Tetralogy of Fallot, where uh, there's a hole between the lower chambers of the heart and there's uh, obstruction of blood flow to the lung artery. Um, with that, we knew that condition was correctable. It was certainly um, unsettling and um, you know, somewhat uh, upsetting about, you know, to hear that, uh, you know, any, when you hear anything about the heart. We had a case conference with a couple other people there to just make sure that once he was born, they would decide whether he would need surgery right away or not, because that was a given. He would need surgery. It was just a matter of whether it be right when he was born or could they wait for a little bit. So we used our past experience, um, areas of research that we've published previously and, and work that we're doing as well. Liam underwent surgery at about the age of four or five months, and that was uh, quite uh, successful and he's beautiful and healthy. I think about what it would have been like had he been born and we were told, oh hey, we just found out there's something wrong with his heart, I think would have been a lot harder. The Women's and, and Children's Health Research Institute provides uh, critical infrastructure for the research that is currently happening, uh, both at the Lowe's Hole Hospital for Women, the Royal Alexandra Hospital, and, um, and here at the Stellar Children's Hospital. We have uh, the Stollery Children's Hospital uh, Foundation and the Royal Alexandra Hospital Foundation. They're critical resources uh, that work with um, outside individuals uh, that want to contribute. I didn't even realize, I thought, well, you're not going to see anything. The heart's this small. What can you possibly? So then when they did, I think that was even more, wow, this is what technology can do today and this is what they're capable of doing.